You ever just needed a do-over? You ever just needed a moment where you were just like, ah, ah. You ever been talking to somebody and been like, I just wish I wouldn't have started this conversation. Wouldn't it be cool if you had a little button? Like you're in the middle of a conversation, you're like, nope, click. And it just rewinds you. And when you see them, they're like, hey, you're like, no. And you just keep walking. Or like, or like, or like, remember, you, like somebody asked for your number, ladies, and you gave it to them. And you just wish, yeah, I just wish I would have done that. That's why you need to memorize uh, Domino's number. That's messed up, but it's funny. <laughs> My daughter's actually memorized the rejection hotline number. That's, there's, <laughs> y'all did, I'm sorry, I'm telling on you. That's messed up. Hey, guys, if you ask for a girl's number and she's like, yeah, it's one that ain't the real number, okay? That's the rejection hotline is a real thing. But, but sorry, don't Google it. I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 yes, Google it. Okay, they're both saying like, yes, Google it. But there might be multiple numbers, and one of them might say bad things. Anyway, don't Google it. All right, take it from Pastor. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But anyway, these moments where you just wish, you know, I just wish I could get in bed and just start the whole day over. Well, you know, you, you can't. But you can have do-over on purpose. You can have do-over on mistakes. You can have do-over on failures and, and mess-ups. Why? Because of God's grace and God's mercy. Aren't you grateful that it's called the good news? You ever been around somebody who just wants to tell you bad news? You won't believe what happened this week in Idaho. I'm like, yeah, I won't. That's why I don't want you to tell me. I don't watch the news. Some, now, some of y'all are like, oh, and we have newscasters in our church, and I, I watch y'all. I don't, I don't. That's a lie. I don't watch y'all either. I love y'all, and I want you to keep doing what you do, but I just don't. I read the news. That way, I, like I'm reading it, I'm just like, no, I'm not reading I just read it to stay up to date because I don't want to know bad news. I just want the, I want the good. I just want the good because I need, I need good grace in my life. And, and this year, I want you to understand this. No matter how many mistakes you've made, no matter how messed up you've been, no matter how bad 20, can y'all be honest right now? How many of y'all, 2020 was just, just hard on you? Just raise your hand. So th she didn't even raise her hand. She was like, I'm just slapping mine together. This is, it, was, it was all bad. It's just hard. But here's what you get. You, you get a do-over. I can't give you a, a whole different year than 2020, but God can give you a do-over. And when you make mistakes, some of, some of us, we live this life, we're like, well, you don't understand the mistakes that I've made. When you make mistakes, I need you to understand. It's like God's donut shop. You ever been to a donut shop? You ever, you ever seen how they make them? And they're just over there making donuts. And then they put them on the little thing. And at Krispy Kreme, we used to go to this place called Krispy Kreme. Some of y'all know. And they would just put a little crack. Like they're just, they'd just be going through. And crack would be just, I don't know, that's not true. It's the first sermon of the new year, and I've already referenced it. Correct. I apologize for that. <laughs> if you're brand new, I'm the real pastor, and it, it, this is it. This is it's not getting better. There's not like an older guy coming out. <laughs> there's, there's, there's not like an older guy in a suit coming out like, okay, youth pastor, move. I'm it. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got fun this weekend. But, but it's like they keep, just, as you eat them, they just keep making them. Ah, oh, mm. well, that's, that's just like mercy. You keep making mistakes, and God keeps making mercy. He has a purpose and a plan for your life. Do you know that he knew your life, the end from the beginning? Here, here's what it says in Jeremiah 1, 5. It says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Everybody say knew. In the Hebrew, that word is, is yada, which means a deep friendship. What does that mean? That means God had a deep friendship friendship with you before you were even formed in the womb, and he will spend your entire life attempting to reconcile that friendship back to him. What does that mean? I want, I want you to look at me right now. I want you to focus on me. If you're online, you're going to need to type this in the chat because I want you to get it, and I, want you, I wanted you to let it sink in. God wants to be your friend. Some of you are like, you don't know me, because I was in the club uh, last night, <laughs> and God was there too. He was watching you. And he was very disappointed in your dance moves, because <laughs> they are bad. They're all bad. 
Well, some of you are like, that's not scripturally accurate. Well, you're just going to have to deal with it. All right. If, Ephesians 2.10 says, for we are God's masterpiece. We means me. I am God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. What does that mean? God had a good plan before you ever got here, and, and nothing you do is going to mess it up. Some of you are like, yeah, but you don't know the mistakes I've made. Do you understand that the will of God operates like a highway? Have you ever been on the highway or the interstate and, and, you, and you're following ways or you're following uh, Google Maps or whatever and it, and it gets mixed up? You ever been where it gets mixed, especially at an interchange and you're supposed to go one way and then all of a sudden it flips because it thinks you've gone another way and then you get off and you're like, and it's like you're not supposed to be there and you're like, ah! And you get frustrated. You ever been frustrated like that? Ah! And then what do you do? You just pull over and die on the side of the road? Ah, quit him, get out. You kick the car and start walking. No. You, you go to the next exit. You do a Yui. You get back on. Listen, your life might take some detours, but God's will will always find a way, and he'll always say this way. Just come right this way. It might have to take you through a gravel road. You might go off-road a little bit, go through a creek, jump a ditch, but you're going to get back to where God has called you to go. Why? Because he has a master plan.